Hello, everyone. Hello. Hello. Hello, hello. Hello, teacher. Hey, how are hello. you? Hello. Welcome, guys. Welcome, Claudia, Carolina, Maria Padilla. Welcome. Diana Jan Milet, Fatima Larissa. How are you? How are you, girls? We have four girls right now. <laughs> how are you? I'm fine. And you? You're very fine. I'm very fine. Thank you. With a little cold here because it's still raining here. <laughs> but very good with this weather. Really nice. With energy. You feel energy to continue today with our session? Yes. As always, with your energies on. Maria Padilla, how are you? Very well. Very you. well. Good. That's right. Fatima, what about you? Fine. Tamia. Everything fine? Yes. Is it raining? Uh, no. Not yet. No. No. Okay. That's good. Really nice. What about you, Claudia? Everything good? Claudia, are you there? Diana? Diana Yang Millet. Brenda. Welcome, Brenda. Hey, Hello, how teacher. are you? Welcome, Betsaida. Welcome, teacher. Sandy. Welcome. <laughs> we also have Margarita. Welcome. Who else we have? Sulma. He has just connected. Welcome. Welcome, Freddy. <laughs> Welcome, Herman Ulises. Who else we have? Selena Yamilet. Welcome, Estela. It's very nice to see you one more time, one more session. We're going to begin again with this class. Remember yesterday we continued with our frequencies, right? Frequency words, frequency expressions. And we have here an exercise to remember about it, to review this. Let's see. This one is to ask about our routines and abilities <clears throat> and we are going to complete with these phrases like do you ever for example if we ask do you ever cook for friends what would be a possible answer yes i sometimes cook for friends or maybe no i never <laughs> cook for friends or no never right possibilities now tell me margarita what about in your case do you ever cook for friends <clears throat> Margarita? Hello. Selena? Hello, hello. Hello, Miss. Hey. Miss, do you ever cook for friends? Mm. Maybe sometimes, never, hardly ever. Never. Mm. Never. Never. Mm. Okay. Nice one. Thanks. Okay. Now let's see. Sandy. Are you there, Sandy? Sandy Roxana? Claudia? Claudia Carolina? Good night. Hey. Hey, good hey. evening. Welcome. Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay. A veces Tell casi me. no le teacher, casi no ah. le contesto porque se me con que se me traba para activar el micrófono y quizás me mm. está fallando. Okay, yes, there are problems, right? Sí. For the yeah, the Wi-Fi, there is some problem for the like like the rain, so for that. Okay, I I know there are some difficulties there. Don't worry. All right, Estela, are you present, Estela? Yes. Now I need you to ask a question. You're going to complete with the phrase that you prefer. Like, do you ever and select one? But you are going to ask to, uh, let me see, to Germán. Germán, you're there, right? Germán, can you listen to us? <clears throat> sí. 
Yes. Okay. Very good. Do you ever play volleyball? Nice. Very good. <clears throat> yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Sometimes. Yes. Occasionally. Always. Or what frequency word can you use? Uh, play the video games. I'm sorry? <clears throat> play video games. Oh, you play video games. Do you play video games? Like uh, you do it sometimes or do you always play video games? Yes. Always. Mm -hmm. So you do it like frequently. All right. Thank you. That's good. What about you, Solma? Tell us. Do you ever listen to English songs? Sulma, the, the audio, please activate. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Sulma. Okay. Yes, I usually listen to English song. Very good. That's nice. Thank you. Okay. Wendy, tell me, do you ever sing in the shower? I think this one is very common, right? When we're taking a shower, we can sing. Okay. Do you do it? Sing in the shower. Uh -huh. I'm sorry? Always. Sing in the shower. Always. Yes. You always do it. Very good. Nice. Great. Thank you. Selena, what about you? Do you ever tell jokes? Selena Yamile? Do you ever tell jokes? Hello. All right, Wilfredo. Welcome, Wilfredo. How are you? Everything good? Fine, teacher. Yes, very nice. Okay, good. Now tell us with this question: Do you ever tell jokes? Uh, no, no, I, I very bad for that. Okay, <laughs> all right. Thank you. Good. Okay, so we have this one with "Do you ever?" Right now, that was just to remember about the frequency words, how we can use them. Now, let's go ahead with our next topic and our next section. So, we finish with section one. Let's continue with section two. In the one, we have the topic, we had a great time. Let me Please. see the chat. Okay. All right. So, if you have time, let's see, Pablo... And Margarita wrote on the chat, if it's possible for you to participate, please do it. Thank you, guys. Thank you for informing. Okay, let's see here the objective. The principal objective here, it says, in this session, participants will listen to a conversation about two people and the activities they did during the past weekend. So now we will work with the time in the past. So let's check what are the activities you can observe here. What activity do you think is number one? Picture number one. <clears throat> what do you think, Sandy? What activity is picture number one? What action is it? Dance. Dance, excellent. Very good. Daniela, what about picture number two? Reading. Reading, Read, right? Very good. That's nice. Thank you. Selena, picture number three. Swimming. Swimming. That's swim, right? Excellent. That's good. What about picture number four? Claudia? Walk. I'm sorry? Walk. All right. Can be walk, can be run, probably, right? Very good. Beside that, what about number five? Meeting. Ah, okay, probably they are in a meeting. They're meeting in a restaurant, in the food court. Great, that's nice. Thanks. Maria, Paria, what about number six? What action do you think is it? Watching. watching TV. It's watching TV. Really good. Nice. Fatima, number seven. What a uh, movie. Watch a movie. Nice. Very good. William, welcome. Number seven. Number seven in a uh, movie theater. 
That's good. Yeah, probably they watch a movie in a movie theater. That's right. Good one. Wendy, what about number eight? Count the money. Yeah, very good. Counting money. Really good. Nice. Okay, different activities, right? That can be in the present, probably in the future, but now we're going to work with activities in the past. So first, we're going to check here a video, the one we're going to watch, and then we're going to discuss about the vocabulary, and then we're going to practice it. Hi to all, welcome to section seven. No problem with the video? No, no teacher. teacher. Not teacher. Okay. Thank you. We had a great time. In this session, participants will listen to a conversation between two people and the activities they did last weekend. This conversation will walk us through activities that took place in the past. I really need you to concentrate as we'll begin to study simple past. As you listen to the conversation, write down all the verbs in the past mm. you can identify. Did you do anything special? So, what did you do last weekend, Meg? Oh, I had a great time. I went to a karaoke bar and sang with some friends on Saturday. That sounds like fun. Did you go to Lucky's? No, we didn't. We went to that new place downtown. How about you? Did you go anywhere? No, I didn't go anywhere all weekend. I just stayed home and studied for today's Spanish test. Our Spanish test is today? I forgot all about that. Don't worry. You always get an A. All right. So the conversation is, did you do anything special? It's a question in the past. So it's investigating about the activities that occurred, but in the past period. Now, conversation between Rick and Meg. So what did you do last weekend, Meg? Oh, I had a great time. I went to a karaoke bar and sang with some friends on Saturday. That sounds like fun. Did you go to Lucky's? No, we didn't. We went to that new place downtown. How about you? Did you go anywhere? No, I didn't go anywhere all weekend. I just stayed home and studied for today's Spanish class. Our Spanish test is today. I forgot all about that. Don't worry, you always get an A. Now tell me, do you have new vocabulary? <clears throat> downtown teacher downtown is the center of the city for example in san salvador all around all that area around centro historico you have mercado eh, central sagrado corazón all that area is downtown it's the center of the city Any other one? Sure. Uh, yes. What is the mean the sound? I'm sound. sorry? What is the mean sound? Oh, uh, this one? Some. No. That sound like fun. Oh, this expression sounds like fun. It means it's something that you enjoyed. Suena divertido. That sounds like fun. It's the whole expression. Like here, it's working as a comparative. Suena como divertido. So it's like comparing a situation. So it's not the normal like. It's a different context. Any other one? Sam? Uh, which one in this part? Some. No. Uh, la de la par. Eh, oh, sang. Sang is the simple pass of the verb sing. This one. Sing is the base form. La, la, la. Sing. In the base form. And sang is the simple pass. Thank you. You're welcome. Any other one? <clears throat> Meaning of forgot? 
Which one? I forgot. Oh, I forgot. Uh -huh. This one is the simple past of the verb forget. Forget, it means, oh, I did not remember. Remember? Contrary, forget. Forgot. Mm -hmm. I forgot mm -hmm. to pay the electricity bill. Forgot. I did not remember. So this is the base form, forget. And forgot is the past. Thanks. My pleasure. Any other question? All right. Now let's practice it. <clears throat> and begin like this. Let's mark it from here. You're going to begin. Let's see. William, you begin, please. You're Rick. Okay. So what did you do the last weekend, Meg? Thank you. Continue, Selena. Oh, I had a great time. I went to a, to a karaoke bar in karaoke Kari, karaoke karaoke bar and sang with some friends on Saturday. Very good, thank you, Wendy. Continue, please. That song like fun. Did you go to look it? Very good, thank you, Daniela. No, we didn't. We went to that new place downtown. How about you? Did you go anywhere? Right. Thank you. Diana Jang Millet. No, I didn't go anywhere all weekend. I just stayed home and studied for the, today's Spanish test. Spanish test. Spanish test. Test. Very good. Thank you. That's good. Continue, Maria, please. <clears throat> Our Spanish Spanish test Spanish test is today. Uh -huh. I forgot her all about her about that. About that. Thanks. Fatima. Don't worry. You always get at A. Get an A. Get an A. Get an A. Very good job. Nice. Thank you. Betsaida, now you begin again. You're Rick. <clears throat> so, what did you do last weekend, Matt? Thank you. Continue, Freddy. Oh, I had a good time. A great I time. To... A great time. A good time. I went to karaoke bar and sang with some friends on Saturday. Thank you. That's right. Wilfredo, continue, please. <clears throat> That song like fun. Did you go to Loki's? Right. Thank you. Sandy. No, we no we didn't. We, we, we didn't. Didn't? We didn't. Nice. No, we didn't. We we went to that Nick Nick place. New place. place. New place. Sorry. Place. The Downtown? Downtown. How about you? Did you go anywhere? That's right. Thank you. Eric, continue, please. <clears throat> no, I didn't. Go go anywhere all weekend. Are you the state? I just home. I just stayed. I just stayed home and studied for today's Spanish test. That's right. Thank you. Right. Daisy Carrillo, continue, please. Our Spanish test is today. I forgot about that. That's right. Thank you. Marvin, continue, please. Don't worry. You always get an a grenade. An A. Very good. Thanks. Okay. We got this. In this conversation, in the one we have a lot of verbs in the past. And also we have affirmative forms, negatives, and of course the question. So let's put emphasis here. We have the study of our simple past. We can observe here our timeline. The one is representing. The presence is here. Now, we know that also we have past activities the future 
the probably where is going to happen. So what do we have here? The simple past expresses an action that is already finished. So we don't include the present in either the future, right? We're talking just about things that already occurred. Now, as we know, there are two types of verbs. <clears throat> we have regular verbs and irregular verbs. In the regular verbs, when you transform into the past, you are going to include ed. For example, watch, watched. So observe here that the base form of the verb is watch, but you want to talk about past activity will be with ed, watched. In an irregular ver uh, verb, then they have different manners. They take different forms. So it does not end in ed when you transform into the past. For example, the verb go is very different. Transform into the past, went, totally different. Let's see the first case of the regular verbs. As I was mentioning, they end in ed. Now, what happens here is that with all of the subjects, the verb in the past is the same form. You don't conjugate in different manners, not like the verb to be, right? The verb to be here is different form. You conjugate in a different manner. So here is simple past, but not including the verb to be. It's with the rest of the verbs. So if you check here, the subject I, simple past, I worked, you worked, he worked, she worked, it worked, we worked, you worked, they worked. So the past of the verb, then you have plus ed. Base form, study, simple past, studied. Here we have to substitute the letter y and you include i, ed to change it, but always end in ed. Finish, finished, it ends in ed. Repair, repaired. These three verbs are examples of regular verbs. For that reason, you transform into the past, include ed. These are just some of the examples. Questions so far? Questions by the moment? No, miss. No, sir. Okay, this is only introduction, but let's see in more specific manner. It says now, let's go to the next point. In this session, simple past questions and answers will be introduced. Irregular and regular verbs will also be taught. Now, let's see some of the activities we can include. Uh, what are the activities we can do in our free times? Examples will be read, watch TV, spend time with family, fish, spend time with friends, go to the movies, play sports, do gardening. Do you have a new action here? Any question? All right, let's see then some other examples. Here will be in the form of regular. I worked in a restaurant last year. Tell me here, identify what is the subject? I. 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 Excellent. What is the verb? Work. 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 Perfect. The rest, everything that is after the verb, is the complement. In this case, in a restaurant last year. So this is a regular verb. My base form is only work, but I want to express it in the past time. Now I say I work. Observe here that you don't have the verb to be. No, because my verb, my action here is worked. So it's not I am worked. It's different, different form that you conjugate it. Another case will be the technician reports the computer in the workshop. What is the subject? The technician. The technician, the technician right? The technician. Exactly. Very good job. Now we have the technician here. What is the action? Repair. Repair, right? Correct. So we repair. have the verb that is the base form, repair, but simple pass, repair. 
The rest is only my compliment. Now let's see the other case. Some examples with irregular verbs will be, the lawyers ate lunch together last Monday. What is the subject? The lawyers. The, lawyer. the lawyers. The lawyers. Excellent. Mm. This is singular or plural subject? Plural. Plural, it's plural right? Plural. That's great. Probably can be two or three or more quantity of lawyers. What is the verb? Eight. 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 Excellent. What is the base form of eight? Eight. 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 Perfect. Eight, eight, That's yeah. right. Great. The next one. Let's see. Read it. Brenda, can you please read the next one? Janine. Janine spoke uh, to the manager about the new project. project. Very good. Thanks. What is the subject? Janine. Janine. Janine, perfect. What is the verb? Spoke. 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 Very good. Now, what is the base form of a spoke? Speak. 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 Perfect. That is correct. Good. So let's check. If you observe here, no verb to be, because the verb to be here is not a verb. I have a different verb conjugating here. So let's check our grammar focus in the simple past. Let's see some of the questions. We're going to read them. It says, did you work on Saturday? Yes, I did. I worked all day. No, I didn't. I didn't work at all. In this question, as this one is a yes, no question, you begin with the auxiliary. My auxiliary for the simple past is only did. So as is a yes, no question, you always begin with that auxiliary. After that, you include the subject. Then you have the verb. In this case, the verb is always in the base form. Why base form? Oh, because I have auxiliary. So my auxiliary helps the verb and transforms in the past. So it's not necessary to include the verb with the simple past again. It's not like, did you work on Saturday? No. For that reason, you have the auxiliary. Now, in the answer, if the answer is affirmative and it's a short answer, then you could say, if it's affirmative, yes, subject, and did, and that's it. Now, the rest is like a extra information, something else that you want to say. But if you want to be more practical and just short, that's it, you could say, yes, I did, or no, I didn't, if it's negative, negative answer that you have. The other one will be like this. Did you go anywhere last weekend? Observe here, auxiliary. You got subject, verb in the base form because you have auxiliary. The rest is only a complement. They are questions, so it's always necessary to include the question mark at the end. Affirmative, yes, I did. I went to the movies. I went to the movies, it's just extra information, which is not very necessary. Correct, it will be only include, yes, I did. No, I didn't. I didn't go anywhere. Now, observe here that when you have a short answer and this one is negative, then it's necessary that this one is, is said or expressed in a contraction form. So it needs to be contracted. Now, you also have the case of WH questions or the how questions, right? For example, what did Rick do on Saturday? Now here you investigate something in a specific form. Why? Because you need to investigate in this case, what? You can also investigate about places. If you investigate about place, then it needs to be where, right? If it's about hour, the time, then you ask what time, why? So you ask for the reasons. So after a different WH word, then you include the auxiliary, the subject, the verb in the base form because you have auxiliary, complement. In the complement, always as is a question, you need the question mark. Now, in the answer, we know that they are not investigating if yes or no, right? Investigate a specific information. For that reason, it's not correct to say, okay, what did Rick do on Saturday? Yes. No, no, right. It's not what we need to know. A specific information will be he stayed home and studied for a test. So this is the information that I need to know. 
The next one. How did Meg spend her weekend? Again, we have a WH word, auxiliary, subject, base form of the verb, and the complex. The answer. She went to a karaoke bar and sang with some friends. So it's not a yes or no, right? It's a specific information, depending on what you want to investigate here. Questions? Questions so far? No question. No? Let's watch the video and then we are going to see more examples about that. We got the video. 2.3. She came late to class. Press past activities and experiences. In this session, simple past questions and answers will be introduced. Irregular and regular verbs will also be taught. Welcome back. So now it's time to study past tense. For us to succeed learning it, we need to learn verbs in simple past. We'll teach you how to make questions and how to answer in both affirmative and negative form. Please pay attention. Simple past. Did you work on Saturday? Yes, I did. I worked all day. No, I didn't. I didn't work at all. Did you go anywhere last weekend? Yes, I did. I went to the movies. No, I didn't. I didn't go anywhere. What did Rick do on Saturday? He stayed home and studied for a test. How did Meg spend her weekend? She went to a karaoke bar and sang with some friends. Let's talk about questions in simple past. Did you realize the auxiliary we used? Did. We use auxiliary did for questions and short answers, positive and negative. Did you realize what happened to the question after we used did? See the next example. Did you go to the beach? Did he break the window? In each question, the verb is used in simple present because we use did. It is not correct to say, did you went to the beach? Did he broke the window? So remember, every time you ask a question in simple past, you need to use the auxiliary did, and the main verb goes back to present. For short answers in affirmative and negative in simple past, we must use did within the answer as we saw on the chart. Yes, I did. No, I didn't. This takes us to say that we use verbs in simple past when we say affirmative sentences. Take a look at the following statements. They went to the park last weekend. I woke up late this morning. She came late to class. I suggest for you to study and learn verbs in simple past for you to express past activities and experiences. All right, as you observed there on the video, it was part of the explanation of that, right, of the simple past. Something that we need to remember is to put emphasis is on the auxiliary that we use. So our auxiliary for simple past will be did. An session will be with the verb to be, right, that we use a, a different structure there. Point number two is that the main verb or the principal verb it goes back to the present or the base form. It can be called two forms. So it goes to the base form of the verb. For sure answers in affirmative and in negative in simple past, as we mentioned, we must. So it's necessary to use auxiliary did. Now, if it's short, affirmative, yes, I did. Or extra information also, right, that you want to include. Or if it's negative, short answer, then 
it's necessary to include a contraction manner here. Now, let's see. Affirmative sentences in the past. They went to the park last weekend. Let's see. What is the subject here? They. 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 Perfect. What's the verb? When. 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 The phrase will be my complement. Excellent. Went. And what is the base form of went? Go. 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 Perfect. Go. You can Go. see this one is very different. This is regular or irregular verb? Irregular. Irregular, it's irregular. irregular right? That's why it's irregular because it's not normal like the rest of the verbs. What about the next one? Jennifer, are you there, Jennifer? Jennifer, are you present? Yes. 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 Okay, Jennifer, can you please read the second one? I woke up. I woke up. I woke up. Woke up. I woke up. I woke up late this morning. Very good. Thank you. What is the subject in the sentence? Hi. Hi. Excellent. What's the verb? Woke up. Woke up. Woke up. Perfect. Woke up. And what is the base form of woke up? Wake up. Wake, wake, wake up. up. Uh -huh. Excellent. Regular or irregular verb? Irregular. 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 Irregular, right? It doesn't have ED. That's great. Okay. And we have here that the verb is wake up, like this one, right? Our base form, wake up in the morning. Now, what's the next one? Andrea de Los Angeles, are you there? Andrea? No? Raquel? Yes, yes I'm here. Yes, Sorry, teacher. teacher. Okay, go ahead, Andrea. Thank you. Andrea, can you read the last sentence, please? Andrea? <laughs> The audio. There is like interference. Se escucha como interference. Hello. Hello? Andrea? Hello, can you hear me? Okay, now yes. Hello? Yes. Now yes, Teacher? Andrea. Hello, yes. can you hear me? Yes. Yes, I can. Yes. Yes. Uh, now yes. Uh, okay. <laughs> can you read it, please? She came. Se lo escucha cortado, Andrea. Uh, 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 okay, is okay. she came? Yes, yeah, she has problems with the audio. Tal vez más tarde le, le mejora la señal. Raquel? She came late to class. Excellent, thanks. What is the subject, Raquel? Sí, excellent. What is the verb? Came. That's right. Okay. And what is the base form of came? Uh, come. Come. Perfect. Good. Regular or irregular verb? Irregular. That's irregular. Perfect. That's right, guys. Good. Okay. Some of the examples that we got here. Now let's check. Okay, we have we have the chat. Yes, Andrea. Yes, she has issues. I know, guys. Yes, that you have some problems there. Don't worry, don't worry. Thank you for informing. Okay, let's uh, pass the list right now. We need to pass it and let me know that you are present, guys. Okay, let's begin with Claudia. Claudia Carolina. Present. Thank you, Claudia. Raquel Esther. Perdón, teacher. Raquel. Present. Sí. Yes. Present, teacher. Okay, yeah, we're passing the list. <laughs> Thank you, Raquel. Good. Marvin. Marvin Vitalicio. Hi. Hello. Thank you. Hello. Andrea de Los Angeles. Andrea? Yes, present teacher. Thank you, Andrea. Thank you. Brenda Carolina? Present teacher. Thank you, Brenda. Daisy Estefania? Present teacher. Thank you, Daisy. Diana Jan Millet? Present teacher. Thank you. 
Fátima Larisa. I'm here, Miss. Thank you, Fátima. Julia Margarita. Present teacher. Thank you, Julia. Wendy Adamares. Present teacher. Thank you, Wendy. William Alexander. William Alexander. I remember William. Has Present. Difficulties. Okay, great. Thank you. Thank you, William. Maria Mercedes. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Wilfredo Adalberto. Present teacher. Thank you. Zulma Natividad. I present teacher. Thank you, Zulma. Sandy Roxana. Present teacher. Thank you, Sandy. Wendy Beatriz. Present teacher. Thank you, Wendy. Pablo present. Alejandro. Pablo Alejandro. Jennifer Saraí. Present teacher. Thank you, Jennifer. Freddy Ernesto. Present. Thank you, Freddy. Petsaida Jasmine. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Estela Guadalupe. Present. Thank you. David Moises. Oh, no, he said he's not present today. Daniela Beatriz. Present. Thank you, Daniela. Ever Jaciel. Ever. Germán Ulises. Germán Ulises. Eric Ronaldo. Perdón, teacher. Um, Germán, eh, right? Germán ha escrito en, la, en, en, la, en el chat. Oh, ok. Thank you. Thank you so much. Sí, este, algunos tienen problemas con el audio. Right? Yeah. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Roberto Carlos. Present. Thank you, Roberto. Selena Janinet. Thank you. Hello. Eric Ronaldo. Eric Ronaldo. Yes, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much, Eric. Roberto Carlos. Roberto Carlos. Present. Thank you, Roberto. And Selena Jamilet. Present. Thank you so much, guys. Somebody that I didn't mention. No, I mentioned everybody. All right, guys, let's continue then. Lysis is present. Yes, okay. Great, guys. Okay, so let's see some more examples using the yes, no questions, like in a more specific manner. Let's begin here. Let's see, it says, did you meet with your relatives? Yes, I did. We had a great time. Remember that this one is extra information, right? But if you want to be more practical, go straight to the point with yes, I did, that's okay. Now, we have here, first, auxiliary did. You got the subject, the verb in the base form. Why in the base form? Marvin, why do we use the base form? Because we are using the auxiliary. Perfect, that's right. We're using auxiliary, excellent. That's nice. Okay, so let's continue with the other questions. Claudia, can you please read the second question? Claudia Carolina. Yes. Yes. Can you please read it? To drive. The, Did you drive? The trucks last Sunday. The truck. The truck last Sunday. The truck last Sunday. Good. What? Repeat it, please. Did you drive the truck last Sunday? The. Did you drive the truck? Last, last Sunday. 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 Very good. Thank you. Let's see Pablo Alejandro. Pablo. Andrea. 
Andrea de Los Angeles. Yes, can yes. you hear me? Yes, I can hear you, okay. yes. No, I didn't, I dropped the pickup. Excellent, that's right, great. Okay, let's continue. Germán, Germán Ulises, can you listen to us? Germán? Daisy? Daisy Carrillo? Yes, miss. Yes, can you read the next one, please? The third, the third question. Uh, did your boss work on the report? Thank you. Great. Okay, let's see the answer. Margarita. Margarita, are you there? No? Raquel. Uh, did yes. you? Yes, yes he did. Nice. Yes, he did. He finished on time. Very good, Joe. Thank you. Eric, continue. The next question. Did your best friend buy a new car? Right. Thank you. Fatima, answer. Did your no, girl have a question? I'm sorry? No, he? No, he didn't. Didn't. Did. Didn't. 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 Thanks. That's right. Good. So let's observe here that you have short answer, but also extra information. That is optional, right? That is it. You want to include that information. Sulma, yes. Do you have a question? Yes. Eh, cuando la respuesta es en negativo, no cambia el verbo. In this case, when you include a example, if you want to give a complete answer, then you need to include the verb. But if the answer here is short, you don't include the verb. So it's just no, he didn't. No, I didn't. If it's short. But if you want to give a complete answer, you include the verb. For example, if I say, did your pero, best friend? I'm sorry? Pero el verbo que coloqué ahí, no precisamente tengo que ponerlo en pasado, sino el verbo normal. In the base form, if you include the auxiliary. Ah, yes. But you need auxiliary. For example, if I say, well, the, the answer here, did your best friend buy a new car? And you want to give complete answer. And you say, and no, he didn't, didn't buy a new car. Because it's negative. Always that you have the answer in negative, then it's necessary to include the auxiliary. So as it's negative, right? You have auxiliary, but the base form of the verb all the time. In the form yeah. that you don't, don't include the verb here in the past, you have it in the affirmative form, like here. Did you meet your, uh, your relatives? Yes, I did. But this one is your answer. You don't include the verb. Now, if you have another answer, but including the verb, you don't use auxiliary, like we had. A great time. It doesn't say we did have a great time or we did have a great time. So in an affirmative okay. form, affirmative form, you don't include the auxiliary. The exception will be in a short manner that you say, yes, I did. And that's it. Don't include the verb. Yeah. Is it clear? I understand. You got yeah. it? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So if you have a question and you have a negative, is necessary to include the auxiliary. If you have auxiliary, then the verb is necessary to be in the base form. Why? Because you have auxiliary. The auxiliary helps the verb. You see the difference? Yes? Is it clear? A little bit? Now, you notice here that you have yes, no questions, but also we have our WH questions. In these ones, we know that they include the WH or the how questions. For example, what did you do last weekend? I practiced baseball. I practiced baseball. 
So it's not a yes or no answer. What do we include first? WH words, auxiliary, because it's the past. You got the subject, the verb in the base form. Why? Because you have auxiliary. Then you have the complement. Now, in the answer, you don't begin like yes or no, because I don't investigate if it's affirmative or negative. I want to know something specific. So you begin with the subject. Then the verb is in the past because you don't have auxiliary here. So I practiced baseball. The next one, where did you go on your last vacation? I went to a concert. Let's read the next one. Maria, Maria Padilla, read the next one, please. How? Please repeat. Miss. Yes. Can you please re read this question? How did Freddy? How did Freddy spend, spend his holiday? Spend his holiday. Spend his holiday. That's right. Thank you. Continue. Let's see. Brenda. He traveled to New York. Nice. He traveled to New York. He That's traveled good. to New York. Excellent. That's good. My subject here is he. Then you have the verb in the past. And then you have the complement to New York. Observe that in the answer, you don't have auxiliary because this is not negative or is not a question. It's an answer. Right? But Saida, continue, please. What time? What time did you send the report? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Daisy Carrillo, the answer, please. Daisy? Eric? The answer, please. I sent it at noon. At noon. At noon. I sent it at noon. I sent it at noon. At noon. That's right. Thank you. Good. Now, my subject here is I, the verb sent. Then you have the complement, right? Now, notice here that it's not a yes or no, right? You give a specific information. It's investigating about the specific hour. So I respond with that information. That's noon. Thank you. Okay, let's continue then. Wilfredo, can you read the next one? Who? Who did you see the match with? Right. Thank you. Sandy, the answer, please. With my friend. Right. That's good. Now, look at here that investigate like with a company, right? Who with? Who did you see the match with? Not only you, but with another person. You inve uh, investigate that person. This will be a short answer. But also, you can include the subject, having like in a complete manner. So if you ask, who did you see the match with? I saw. Remember the simple pass of C? Saw. So. I saw the match with my friend. But this one will be like only the specific information. With my friend, that is also correct. Let's see the next one. Solma, continue, please. Who? Who played the video games last Saturday? Robert and Mike. Robert and Mike, excellent, that's good. Look that here we have a little bit different question because in the structure of this question, we don't have auxiliary. Why? Because we investigate the subject. Every time that you investigate who did the action, you don't include the subject when this one is in the simple past. So incorrect to say who did play video games last Saturday because you need to know who, who is that person. Now here, the answer will be the subject, right? In this case, two persons, Robert and Mike. Questions, questions so far? These were some of the questions then.
All clear, teacher. All clear? Okay, let's have more exercise then about that. I have now a short conversation then. Let's practice it. Betsaida, you are the first one. A. I went shopping on Saturday afternoon. Very good. Thank you. Fatima, continue. B. Where did you go? That's right. Thank you. Brenda. To the My Fire Center. That's right. Thank you. Wilfredo. Who? Who did you go with? That's right. Thank you. Let's continue. Freddy. I went with my friends and my sister. That's great. Thank you. Martin. What, what time? time did you go? Great one. Thank you. Daniela. Daniela Beatriz. We went around uh, 3 o'clock. 3 o'clock. That's right. Good. Do you have new vocabulary here? Some questions that you have? What's the mini Mayfair Center? Mayfair Mayfair. Center. Yes. Actually, center, well, it's a place. But Mayfair is the name of the center. So fair, that means feria. Do you remember consuma? That was a fair. But May is the name. So Mayfair is the name of the center. So imagine, that, for example, Metro Centro, the name will be Mayfair Center. So it's the name, the name of that center. Thank you. You're very welcome. Okay, we've got this conversation. Now, let's have here some exercise. We're going to complete these conversations, then practice with our partner. We're going to begin with this one, and we are going to use the verbs that we have in parentheses. So all transform in the past. Some of them are questions, other can be affirmative or the negative. So let's see about the first one. Let's see, Eric, what do you think about number one? Look at that here, it's a question, right? So what do we need? Did you? Uh-huh, great, that's nice. So it begins like that, did you? Stayed. Are you sure? What is the form of the verb? You have auxiliary. Stay. Mm -hmm. Stay. Yes, base form, right? No ED because you have auxiliary. Yes? Okay. Great. Nice one. Thank you. Let's continue. Estela, now we have the answer. And the verb is called. Estela, are you here? Raquel? Raquel Esther? No, I didn't call. My uh -huh. friend. Okay. Yes. Okay. Look at that here. It said that no, I didn't call my friend Anna. So here, mm -hmm. here also can be like that, right? Probably it's negative form. If the question is, did you stay home on Sunday? No. Probably this one is different. Maybe it could be, no, I call my friend Anna. We. So there is something that she did with Anna. This is like extra information of that. Also, it could be like that. So it's like the specific information that she did. It's like, no, llamé a mi amiga, right? So here you're saying no, but here you're saying the thing that you did. I called my friend Anna. We, now what is the verb? The verb is drive. Drop, excellent. Drop. In the past, is drop. Very good job. That's nice. Brenda, Carolina. So he says, we dropped to a nice little restaurant for lunch. How did you? Right. How did you? We need our auxiliary. How did you? Then we have a verb. Spend. Spend, right? 
not in the past, right? Because we have auxiliary. So it goes in the base form. It doesn't change. How did you spend your last birthday? As is a specific question there, what is the form of the answer? I have. 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 Perfect. I had a party. Everyone, you have the verb enjoy. Enjoy it. Enjoy it. Enjoy it. That's good. We have ed. Enjoy it. So we have this form. Enjoyed it. Good. But mm -hmm. the neighbors next door, you have negative now. Didn't. Aha. Uh -huh. Didn't. Like. 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 Correct. Aha. Uh -huh. We have the verb. Didn't like and we have the verb in the base form because you have auxiliary here didn't like the noise now what about number three roberto can you help us roberto carlos are you present did you do uh -huh. okay what did you do what have it here did you do again base form of the verb here what did you do last night what could be an answer selena what did you do last night i we got the verb c oh so irregular verb yes Yes, I saw a sci-fi movie at the Cineplex. What is next? Wendy, help us, please. Hi. We got the verb love. Love it. Love it. Aha, uh -huh. with the ED, right? That will be a case of regular verb. Love it. Loved. Aha, uh -huh. I loved it. Amazing special effects. Great. Sandy, continue, please. Number four. This one is a question. Do you? That's right. Okay, it's a yes, no question. Correct. Did you do do correct? Did you do anything spe special over the weekend, Maria? What about the answer? It's affirmative form. Yes, I do. Yes, I did. Simple past. Yes, I did. Yes I did. I did. yes, I did. Correct. Okay. And now it has extra information. So continue talking about the same information. I. I went. I, I went. went. Perfect. Went. The verb is go. So have passed. Excellent. I went. I went shopping. Unfortunately. Betsaida. Unfortunately, I. I spend it. Just that spend is an irregular verb. Look at that here. We have a spend. Spend, the simple past. ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Spent. 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 So you modify, substitute the letter D and you use the T. Right. Spent. Exactly. Uh -huh. Spent. Let's see what's the rest. I spent all my money. Now I'm broke. I'm broke. Don't have more money. So nothing, nothing of money now. What about number five? Freddy. Did. Did, right? Uh-huh. Yes. We got a yes, no question. Did you? Go. 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 Yes. No change of the verb because... You got auxiliary in the question. Nice. Did you go out on Friday night? Daisy, answer. No, I? No, I didn't. Didn't. Very good. That's a short answer. If it's negative, it's necessary to be contracted. That is the correct manner. No, I didn't. Very good. What is the rest? I invite. Invited. Very good. This invited. One is regular verb. Exactly. I invited. I invited friends over. 
And what I else? Cook. Cook. Cooked. And I cooked. cooked. This one is regular too, so it has ed. I cooked. I cooked spaghetti for them. Really good. Nice job, guys. Really good. Okay, some of the verbs, right, that they are regular, others are irregular too. Questions? Do you have questions about it? Okay, let's practice it. As it's a short conversation, we're going to begin with the first one. Sandy, read the first one, please. Did you? <clears throat> Did you stay home on Sunday? On Sunday? Thank you. Daisy, continue, please. No, I called. Uh -huh. My no, friend make, called. Sorry, sorry. Try to make a pause after the coma. Say, no, I called. No, I called my friend Anna. Nice. We drove to a nice little restaurant for lunch. Really good. Thank you. Brenda, continue, please. Number two. How did you spend your last birthday? Really good. Thank you. Zumba. I had a party. Everyone enjoyed it. Enjoyed but it. They enjoyed it. Nice. But wow. the neighbor next door didn't like the noise. Really good. Thank you. Freddie, continue, please. What Number three. You do? What did you do last night? Excellent. Thank you. Wilfredo. I saw a sci-fi movie at the Cineplex. I love I loved it. Amazing. Amazing, amazing special effects. That's right. Thank you. William, continue, please. Four. William, are you there? No? Fatima, continue, please. Did you? <clears throat> Did you do anything special over the weekend? Great. Thank you. Raquel? Yes, I did. I went shopping. Um, unfortunately, 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 yes. unfortunately, I spent. I spent all my money. Now I'm broke. Really good. Thank you, Marvin. Did you go out? Did you go out? Sorry, did you go out on Friday night? Very good. Thank you. Roberto Carlos, are you present? No, I I didn't. I didn't? I didn't. I, didn't. I invite, invited. Invited friends over and I cooked. I cooked. I cooked. I cooked. Spaghetti. Spaghetti. For them. For them, very good. Very good job, guys, great. Okay, we got simple past, but we have more exercises and we are going to continue practicing with this on Friday. Remember tomorrow, we don't have classes because of the holiday. Yes, so no classes tomorrow. We continue on Friday. Okay. Yes, so I'll see Friday. you on Friday. Mm -hmm. okay. Because we need to have four classes. Remember, they are four classes in okay, the week. Teacher. But because of the holiday of tomorrow, that many people got to the cemetery, right? And all that. So there is no classes. But Friday, yes. So we'll see okay. you on that. Thank day. you for the thank you for the info, teacher. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you for attending to your class. Thank you for your participation. Means I have a question. Tell me, baby. Teacher. Tell me. En la, la parte del, de la sección, en lo que tenemos que llenar, eh, está el test que nos mostró en la clase de ayer, pero no sé cómo lo vamos a completar en la plataforma. En eh, what? Porque aparece como no marcado. El test sobre la salud. 
Oh, Sobre fitness. pasar. Ajá, ajá, porque si le doy pasar me aparece como no marcado y aparece como cero la nota, pero no sé qué hay que hacer ahí. Le Solo hay que enviarlo porque yo ya lo envié y me aparece ya que, ya que lo hice y en la barra me aparece el 100%. Sí. Yeah, you have to read it. No sé si nos podríamos, bueno, es que no sé dónde lo tendría que subir, porque en la ASA aparece publicar, pero para juntar archivo no veo dónde. Creo que solo es para que lo hagas vos y tengas la imaginación de cuánta puntuación tenés, pero ahí solo le das enviar y lo pasas porque no tiene puntuación. There is no exercise there. Hey, it passed here. You just have to read it. Ese solo hay que leerlo, pero no tiene ejercicio. Mi check is slow. O sea, tiene un ejercicio, pero no te puede llenar, teacher. Mm -hmm. What happened no. is that this one is discussion. Mm -hmm. This is only discussion. Look, it says, take the quiz and add up your score in a piece of paper. Find out how fit you are, but it's just for you. It's not to do the exercise here. It's just to send it. This is just a discussion. Esto de acá solo es discusión, pero es opcional. Pero no hay okay. un... Ese es solo para ustedes, como el que hicimos ayer. Okay. Solo para okay. medir la puntuación que, que también de salud nosotros estamos. But it's like personal. It's personal. It's not an exercise. It's just for practice. Es prácticamente la práctica que hicimos ayer. Teacher, I can yes. give my opinion. Sure, go ahead. Okay, but I will try to do it in English. But Go ahead, say it. Very difficult for me. So Go ahead. The, the part that said health and fit fitness quiz, quiz uh, said zero points. Mm -hmm. So you need zero points to pass this, um, this practice. This exercise. This, uh, yes, this exercise. Exercise. Exactly. That's why it says yes. zero points. It's not evaluated. It's just an exercise for you. Exactly. Okay. And you just have to uh, to put the button uh, in VR right to submit. Send it. Mm -hmm. And just that. Anything mm -hmm. else. It's exercise for you. It's like the exercise we did yesterday. You say, okay, how often do you get a physical exam? And you respond. Remember yesterday you say some of you, ah, oh, once a year, every two or three years. Okay, once a year you got five points. But it's just exercise to analyze how you are physically or with your health. Did but you? they're not evaluating. That's why it says zero points possible. <laughs> I have, I have a question, teacher. Yes, tell me, Maria. Eh, no class. In... Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Tomorrow, no, because of the holiday. It's for the day of festival. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. For the day of los difuntos. But on Friday, yes, el viernes. Okay. Porque okay. siempre se, eh, se reprograma esa clase que no se dio. Para okay. hacer la, las cuatro clases. Thank you. Thank you. Any other question? All right, guys. So let's remember to work on the platform and we'll continue then on Friday. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you so much for attending. Have sweet Thank dreams. You. Have beautiful Thank night. You, Good night, everybody. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, Thank you so much. Good night, miss. Thank you so much. Bye. See Bye. you on Friday. Bye. Goodbye. Thank you. Thank you. See you on Friday. Thank you. See you on Friday. Take care.